Hey guys, welcome back to the My Player Career Mode here on FIFA 23. Thank you for your patience in between episodes. I appreciate it very much indeed. Obviously, as you may well be aware, if you saw the community post or on social media, been unwell for a few days, but we're back on the horse now, back to the daily uploads, and hopefully back to scoring goals in the My Player. We, of course, in the last episode, saw the manager sign a new man that played well, and unfortunately wasn't able to help us avoid defeat against Liverpool, but... Uh, Pervis Estupinian is now the fourth highest rated player at the club. So fingers crossed he can continue to put in some good performances today and we can continue to show some improvement in the team's performances. I hope. We're a bit inconsistent as you can see of late, but we're through to the knockout stages of the Europa League, although continually waiting for the next round of that to be drawn. We are in the January transfer window. Bolton in the FA Cup, Leeds away in the league and Tottenham at home in the league as well today. As of course, we hope to have some uh, extra transfer business as well. Incoming, not outgoing, please, Eddie Howe, if you don't mind. Not sure he can be trusted. Not sure the game can be trusted, but we'll take it one game, one day at a time. We should... Make it to level 27 as well, top right. So, we may be in a position to make ourselves a little bit better overall by the end of today's episode as well. That would be uh, really, really pleasing. With regards to our activities, we've got hopefully some money coming back to us in the not-too-distant future. We might as well start by buying something, because why the hell not? We bought quite a bit. Let's donate some money to a nature reserve. There's a nice... Warm-hearted Christmas thing to do. Let's also donate some money to, some, to uh, local schools as well. And then to reward ourselves for being a good Samaritan, I'm going to spend probably more money than I did on either. Indeed, I am on buying myself a nice watch for 90 grand. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, let's go and play Bolton. Get ourselves through to the next round of the FA Cup. And hopefully, from there, we can crack on and actually have a really solid episode. A new centre-back would be nice, though. That's And a winger, too. Quite clearly, the uh, the only real places where this side needs to improve at present are those two areas. Right, drop the video a like if you're enjoying. Make sure you subscribe and you don't miss out on any more. I might have some Football Manager for you again soon at some point in the not-too-distant future as well. Be looking forward to that. But for now, concentrating on this team in black and white stripes. It's Newcastle versus Bolton. Objectives, then, for the game in the FA Cup, which... I mean, hopefully, should be pretty straightforward. I'm going to go for the hat trick. Why not? Playing against lower league opposition. Bolton, presumably, still League One in this save. Championship at best. So, on paper, is quite clearly, with the strength of side we've put out, a game that we absolutely could be and should be winning. And with a free kick in a really positive position, we could take an early 1-0 lead. If Shaparenko or Soler even can find the back of the net, which he can't, unfortunately. I'm kind of annoyed that I'm not the free kick taker at the club right now. But it is what it is. I can't do everything at every club, can I? So we'll just have to hope that Carlos Soler is better moving forward. And you never know. Might get Elliot Anderson in behind for a goal here as well, but we haven't been able to do it. Thank you, Hamza. Nice ball out wide here to Iredale. Back to Dempsey. Idell, a former Cambridge United man, of course, as are we in this save, evidently. Sheehan to Charles to Idell again. He's a left back by trade, but he seems to be playing left wing for Bolton at the minute. I think actually they're playing five back, aren't they? So he's probably left wing back and just pushed a long way forward. Mayer gets a good tackle in there, but it will fall back to Sheehan. And still, here come Bolton. Save needed at the near post. Not the most difficult of saves, but save needed nonetheless. It wouldn't be the first time a lower league side had come to St. James's Park and gotten a win in the FA Cup, would it? Yes, we're still dining out on that. Headed my way. Just been able to outmuscle the defender. Mayor, can he slot me around that corner? He tried. I'll give him his shoes. He did try, but he failed. Bakayoko given away. Koulibaly. That's quickly to me. Look at the space on the far side there. Why has Newman given it back to me? What are you doing, mate? Saparenko. Maya! Goal! Lasso! Newcastle lead by one goal to nil. Pretty straightforward. When I played the through ball to Newman, though, I was kind of hoping he'd go on and just have a crack on goal. Decided to play the pass immediately back to me, which is annoying. 
Never mind. Still involved in the goal. We get the assist of the assist. Slammed home. Dempsey. And Iredale nicely round the corner. Is Bakayoko in behind? And Pope drawn into the save again. Not having many chances, Bolton, but they've had enough to warrant Pope to make a couple of decent saves. And that one a bit more straightforward. It's going to be 1-0 to Newcastle at half-time. Not really under threat, the lead. But we can't let concentration drop because they've clearly had a couple of chances. And all it takes is one lapse in concentration. And one of those chances goes in in the second half. And, oh dear. And we're pegged back to level terms and a replay's on the cards, which we really don't want. You see Palas on. Off the bench for us now. In there to Carlos Soler. And the option forward. Not taken. And now here come Bolton again. But Soler's won it back. At least making up for the mistake. Koulibaly with a little dink. We'll get that round the corner to ride the challenge. Maya. Chaparenko. Beautifully done. Goal. No. No goal. Inside the post. Oh, so confident that was going to end up in the back of the net. I even screamed goal whilst it was on its way towards it. Inside of the post, across the face of goal, we stay at 1-0. That's annoying. And a Hader as well. He's much higher rated. Why a Hader hasn't started on the right-hand side, I don't know. Evidently the manager rotating a bit for this FA Cup tie. So we do have some options in some of the lower rated areas of the starting eleven that we were play putting out today. But certainly we absolutely do still need a centre-back because we don't have any other options other than Koulibaly and the young Alex that we were playing alongside him. Dempsey shot blocked by Koulibaly. Koulibaly? Koulibaly. And Ale uh, Alex Murphy... I hit a hand, no? Alex Murphy playing alongside him, getting rid of the ball. Tomasson and Dempsey. And there to Charles again. Still only 1-0 here, and I'm at risk of being subbed out, apparently. Idel tackled by Hickey. If only I'd been able to tuck that earlier effort away. There'd be no threat of me getting subbed off at the minute. Is he still going? I'm just going to try and accelerate away from the man that's with me and then play Issy through the gap. Go on, son. Get me a hat trick. Get me a hat trick. Get me an assist. Or just the assist of the assist. Can we just have a second goal? Someone bloody shoot, will ya? Oh, oh, he's punched it. I'll call for this. Not it down. Fancy. Oh, good save. A bit unnecessary. The the, uh, the flick there from Shaparenko in the middle. Or Carlos Soler. I'll never tell which one's which because they've both got dark hair and red boots. Cross comes in. It's not going to reach me. Oh, unorthodox attempted clearance, I think is probably the word for it. But never mind. Away it went. 15 to go. Still 1-0. Maya, forward to me. Around the corner. Go on, Ahada, you're in. Go on, you're in. Go on, you're in. I tried to hit that first time. My guy did not want to. Oh, what a save, Johansson. I thought it was going to bury itself in the top left corner. And I am now getting substituted out. Oh, well, we should still see the game through. I probably could have had a couple of goals in that game to that point, but never mind. With 10 minutes to go, we'll watch the rest. If there's something to bring to you, I'll bring it to you. If not, I'll see you at full time. We score! There's the final whistle. Lovely, confident 2-0 win. Unfortunately, I wasn't involved in... The scoring or assisting of either goal. I wasn't even on the pitch for the second one, but I did well enough. I'm happy enough with my contribution. I got the assist to the assist for the first one, and I was involved in what led up to the corner for the second. So I'll take it. Now then, boss, what are you going to do in the transfer window? Something positive, I hope. Although, not holding out much hope. Let's wait and see what happens. I'll go for the dribble success rate. Pretty straightforward. A 7.5 is, well, judging by the first game's evidence, not going to be that easy to get. But if I'd have tucked away my effort that came off the post, I'd have stayed on the pitch for the full 90 and it wouldn't have been too much of an issue. So uh, this time, I'll try and create just as good an opportunity and I'll actually score this time. Here away from home at Ellen Road, though, it's not going to be easy. They're marching on together as always, Leeds United, and really never an easy place to come and play a game of football. Fantastic atmosphere always at Ellen Road, as there is at St. James's Park the majority of the time as well. 
That said, we're going to try and keep the homes, home crowd quiet today. It's stupid, yeah. Given away. No, not given away. We've still got it. Well, go on. Make that run, son. As in into the space, not straight into Diallo. Not exactly what I anticipated. Nor was that pass forward what they anticipated when they thought they were catching us on a quick counter. Soler back to Isaac Hayden, who gets the nod at centre-back. We have Jamal Lascelles, as you saw, scored the goal in the last game. But still the manager deciding to select a shorter CDM rather than the taller, similarly rated centre-back. Jonathan David inside to a teammate, which was a save out of Nick Pope. Again, relying on the man between the sticks. Lower rated than Maximiano, but certainly more reliable than Maximiano to this point in our experience as a Newcastle United player. We will continue to look to leave each club we play at after a full season. So we'll be looking to get a transfer away in the summer from Newcastle. But for the time being, happy enough to be at Newcastle for the foreseeable future. Albeit 1-0 down. Soler, Shaparenko into me. Movement on the right. Wasn't meant for you, but never mind. Here is Hickey. Down the line. He's beaten his man. He's crossed it well. I've not won it, though. Still the chance could come. Still the chance doesn't come. 25 minutes played. Still the chance could come. Ah, God. It almost opened up for a shot or a pass, but wasn't confident of either finding where it wanted to go. Neither did that pass find where it was supposed to go either. Not quite clicking in the final third in this one, are we? 1-0 down still half an hour in. Abdullah de Corey. That's poor in the midfield from Leeds United. Possession gifted back to Newcastle. And forward they come now. Here's Aaron Hickey from right back. A number available in the middle to try and find. None of which that will be found. I'm on a 5.4 right now, somehow. Carlos Soler. Oh, found me, but couldn't get it under control well enough to get the shot away. As I was kind of sidestepping from left to right to take the ball with me in that direction. Had my first touch, left the ball there and disappeared. And rather understandably, perhaps, I'm on that 5.4 so far in this first half. Not having a great episode so far, personally. But as a team, we've picked up progression in the FA Cup. We're only 1-0 down in this one. So there's plenty of time left with 45 minutes to turn it around. A hater could come back to me here. Saparenko, a hater. Oh, shoot. Someone shoot. Oh, God damn it, Elliot. Why did you not hit that first time? Drawing the save at the goalkeeper, Andrew. But he's not been properly tested so far. Can I test him now from range? Probably not. Got much space to do anything with that. Shaparenko, we've given it away again. It's not good enough from this Newcastle United side in this fixture. We certainly were the better team against Bolton, but it's not particularly difficult to do with the quality of side we put out to be better than Bolton. To beat this Leeds team is a different challenge, and it's certainly so far a challenge we are failing. Spun my man nicely there, though. I am, again, understandably this time, at risk of being subbed out, though. Lay that back to my teammate, and he gives it away instead. Oh, dearie me. Well, Tottenham on the horizon, but at the minute, I think I might be the man that gets replaced in the starting lineup. It's Cody Drama. Down the line into Somerville. Next time the ball goes out, I absolutely will get substituted off, and I'm going to have to rely on my training to keep my self in the starting lineup I think because my manager favour is going to plummet a call for the through ball oh it could go up here though if I can bury this which we have Leeds 1 Newcastle 1 the ball has gone out of play now but I was the man to put it in the back of the net so have I saved off my execution here nice ball through to me just shot powers enough to beat the goalkeeper here thought I might have been going left you see me kind of goes one way then the other into the back of the net. And I have managed to survive. I stay on the pitch. In the 80th minute, it's 1-1. I've not been good enough today. But we'll be pleased enough with the point if we can get it. Tenth goal of the Premier League season for me as well. A milestone mark. Greenwood. 
into Jonathan David. Nice tackle by Koulibaly. If we can win this, it would be a real turn up for the books. We absolutely do not deserve it. Sinistera through for Leeds. Jonathan David turns well. He's got Koulibaly right in front of him and they've given it away again, Leeds United. It wouldn't be totally out of character for Leeds to concede a number of goals, would it? Also wouldn't be totally out of character if Somerville scores a last minute goal of some description because he certainly did that quite a bit before we broke up for the World Cup, didn't he? IRL into the 90th minute though. And I'm not going to get my 7.5. I'm going to get a goal, though, at least. So I'm, I'm happy enough with that. And we are, I hope, to get a point. Although there is some doubt about that at the moment. So here's Jonathan David and Greenwood. And David again. Pope with the save. Corner leads. They shouldn't really have time to take it. But the manager, or the referee, sorry, is going to allow for the set piece to be taken. And Pope holds. It's a draw. It's a point in the league. 20 minutes in. Jonathan David gave them the lead. 10 minutes from time. I pulled it back. Unfortunately, only a 7.1 for me. And I don't get the uh, the team possession either. So my manager favour may well drop me into the bench. But we will train. And we'll get ourselves back into the starting lineup for the next fixture being against Tottenham Hotspur and again we hope that the manager might strengthen in the transfer window in the meantime whilst subsequently not weakening us in the process. Right two goal involvements boosted to three is absolutely doable. I only need a 7.0 here against Tottenham now so steadily as the games have progressed and the opponents have gotten harder the manager is expecting less and less of me. If I can replicate what I did against Leeds Albeit the majority of it wasn't very good. But if we can at least get the goal in the 7.1, then I will get what the manager wants of me on this occasion. Koulibaly starts for us at centre-back again. Continually no further ins or outs. <sighs> to this point in the window. That was poor from a stupid young there, there, though. So we're as strong as we could be, given all the circumstances here, as we take on Tottenham Hotspur at home and... Julian Alvarez nearly gives them a 1-0 lead. Udoji into Alvarez. Quick 1-2. And it will reach Terrier. Benton Cub bullshits his way past the defender. And finds Tottenham the lead. Very fortuitous in the way that it came about. But able to tuck it home nonetheless, Rodrigo Benton Super 1-2, it said in commentary. Yeah, a 1-2 off the defender, unintentionally, but sure, a superb 1-2. His first goal of the season, and Tottenham lead. Pretty sure we're going to lose this one. And Doji, Bentancourt, already gotten one. Out to Martin Terrier, looking for a second for Spurs. Hickey in the way. And Doji wins it back, forcefully. And Terrier will recover the Frenchman. Through the gap there to Julian Alvarez. Picked off now, though. Koulibaly forward, Maya. Soler to me. Elliot Anderson's made a good run. And we fed him in really well. He's a bit isolated. He'll come back to me here. I've been tackled by Hoibia, unfortunately. It did fall for Elliot Anderson, but he couldn't turn it back to me either. Oh, Hoibia hasn't tackled me there. We're in a great position to either have a pop on our left foot or try and find a teammate or turn and then have a go on my right. Pubel inside to Bentancourt. Koulibaly tackles. We're trying... Again and again to catch them on the counter here, but we're having to rely on the counter attack because Tottenham have been so dominant in possession. Terrier to Alvarez to Terrier again. He winds up from distance, but Nick Pope holds on this time. Hickey down the right hand side corner. Let's find an equaliser before half time, shall we? Keep going. Keep going. Nice. Oh no. Maybe still. Go on. Yes! Well, they got lucky with theirs. We'll get lucky with ours. Goal involvement. That's an assist. I had to get very, very lucky for it to come back to me here, but it worked for them. It's worked for us. Meyer buries it. He has another one today. His first goal in the Premier League on the brink of halftime with the last kick of it in that first period. We are level against Spurs. Undeserved, but we'll take it. And now here come Tottenham on the counter. Albeit slowly on the counter. 
Laporte to Terrier. We've got Rochdale drawn next in the FA Cup. That will come before transfer deadline day, so there will be another episode coming tomorrow in the transfer window. The only game left in the transfer window, but still, there might be more to come before deadline day. Through that gap, there might be more to come before the end of this game as well. Why have you played a pass, you penis? You play a man through 1v1, and rather than take the shot on, he bottles it and tries to square it backwards. Idiotic. What are you doing? We haven't cut them apart that often at all. And the one time you get played in behind, you think, I know what I'll do. I'll pass it. No! Shoot, you prick. 20 minutes to go. Still 1-1. Looking down the line for Elliot Anderson. Comes back to me. I'll look for Maya through that gap. Find him well. He's found me. Shoot. Oh, I played a pass again. I hate it. Just shoot. Just shoot. Nobody ever in that situation would play a pass. Ever. In the history of time. Carrasco in around the corner. If Tottenham score, I definitely won't get more than a seven. Please don't win it late on. Thank you. Anderson, I've called for it. I'll get it. And I'm just going to run. As far as I can take it. And then hopefully find a teammate. He says. Is he still going? All the way in behind. Oh! Weldy! Ride the challenge. Find the top corner. We improved our long shot stats recently. That's the first time it's actually paid off. From outside the box. With the last kick of the game. We win it. My throat was dying before we got to the halfway stage of recording this episode. It's definitely dead now. Jacob Murphy coming on for Carlos Soler. Oh, last kick of the first half, last kick of the second half, outside of the box screamer from distance to give us a 2-1 win at home against Tottenham. A goal and an assist from me. Whoa. I want to watch that again, if you don't mind. Please, let's see that goal again. He absolutely threw himself at me, Bastoni. But with good agility and balance, we rode the challenge. And the finish is so good. I can't believe I was able to avoid the challenge, to be honest. But then to come up with this finish on the end of it, we've not done that before in our career. That's a genuine first. This many episodes in, that's a genuine first. We've not done that before. There's still more to come, isn't there? There's still more to come. And we're up to level 27 as well. So I do now have some extra attributes that I can add to my guy. We're going to grow a bit more, hopefully. A transfer bid from PSV. Ha, ah, no. I've already been there. We've already done that. I don't want to move, thank you. So as we get to the game against Rochdale, we'll just have a quick look at the squad hub. And the squad hub still says 24. So there has not been a new incoming nor a new outgoing that we're aware of yet. Although we have been linked with Tino Livramento for £50 million. So that'll do us for today's episode. Worthy of your thumbs up and like, I think. That finish. Hopefully you enjoyed. Do make sure you join me for the next one tomorrow where we will take on Rochdale in the FA Cup. We'll have transfer deadline day and then we'll push on into February with Brighton and Fulham as we try and get ourselves a bit higher up the Premier League table. We were about 10th, I think, last time uh, you left me. I'll put those uh, attributes on uh, next episode. So we are still 10th, a point behind one of the sides that will play tomorrow, Brighton. And then there's a bit of a jump to Leicester, but not much of a jump from Leicester to Spurs in fifth. That was a really important win for us, that. Really important win. Good. Let's build on it. See me tomorrow.